Windows Movie Maker adding credits, effects, and transitions. Part 2 Effects and Transitions. This video features how to place visual effects and transitions into your movie. Since the addition of effects, transition, and credits will change your movie's viewing time, it's important to have these elements in place prior to adding audio to your project. Effects and transitions may be used with a timeline view. However, the storyboard view allows you to see where the elements have been placed within the movie. We'll start with effects. These elements change how your image and visuals are displayed. Explore effects by clicking on them and then previewing in the preview pane. Look at the various examples. and choose what you feel will best be suited to your movie. When you've made your choice, drag your effect to the storyboard. Notice when you add an effect, the star on the bottom left corner of the image darkens. Finish adding your effects, and save your movie. Preview your movie by starting back at the beginning and clicking play. Notice as you preview all of the elements that we've added in previous videos remain in place and viewable within the movie. Next we'll work with transitions. Inserting transitions will change how the movie visuals move from one point to the next. Transitions are important throughout your movie to create visual interest. Explore the transitions in the collection pane and preview examples. Make your choice and drag it to the storyboard. Notice that when you add the transition, it appears between the two visual elements. Be sure to use complementary transitions and effects and try not to go overboard with these elements. They should work together. Finish adding your transitions. Save. Return to the beginning slide and preview your movie. Next, we will add audio to your project. 